Thomas Sankara, president of Burkina Faso. He was born December 21st, 1949. This makes him a Sagittarius. He's a fire sign. With Sankara being a fire sign, he's gonna be compatible with other fire signs, which are Aries and Leos. And in fact, his wife, Mariam Sankara, she was born March 26, 1953. She's an Aries. And one of his sons, Felipe Sankara, he was born August 10th, 1980. He's a Leo. So you see that fire sign compatibility. With Sankara being a fire sign, he's gonna be compatible with air signs as well. Which are Libras, Geminis, and Aquarius. And one of his best friends was actually an Aquarius, who we'll get into later. With Sankara being born, you know, on the last day of Sagittarius, he's also gonna be compatible with babies that are born late June to July. Thomas Sankara being a Sagittarius, he's gonna be ruled by the planet Jupiter, like Dr. Sebi. Who I did a video on last week actually, you guys can check it out to get more information on that. The planet Jupiter is a sign of expansion and ambition. But also, this planet relates to benevolence and kindness. As a youth, Sankara wasn't hostile or bullied people around. He was kind with others and probably came off a bit timid, which Sagittarius are known for. But however, he would always speak his mind when he felt something was unfair or unjust. Sagittarius have a high intellect. Though it's not always easy to catch and notice because of their timid energy. But you know, you could always catch it when in a gathering. They always crack some kind of joke to lighten up the mood. And also, they can be quite entertaining. You know, Thomas Sankara, he's actually really good at the guitar. And he played in front of a crowd and to himself. You know, Sagittarius always has some type of talent up their sleeves. Sankara uses wits quite often when talking to the crowd and getting his point across. Really, did you see anger in his facial expression? And Sasha known for getting quite upset, you know, especially when annoyed by somebody, rather quickly. But with Sankara, you gotta realize he's born on the last day of Sagittarius, so he picks up that cuss energy of Capricorn. And when it comes to Capricorns, they know how to conduct themselves in front of a crowd, especially when they're in high positions. You know, due to this Capricorn energy that he possesses, he can come on strong with his verb. However, though, with that Sag energy, he's gonna know how to tame it, along with other placements, you know, that's there, which we'll get into later. Sankara being born with the Sagittarius energy, cuss related with Capricorn, he actually excelled really well in school. You know, he's really good at French and also mathematics. And it's kind of interesting because, you know, Sagittarius, they're good when it comes to philosophy, but they do have a thing for numbers. And in fact, spiritually, Sagittarius are great with numerology and tarot card reading. So it's kind of interesting to see that Sankara excelled well in mathematics. And even myself as a Sagittarius, math was one of my favorite subjects. He took his schoolwork very seriously with that Capricorn cuss lingering around. Education would be very important to him, and he makes great emphasis of this in his interviews. And you know, Sankara, he was born third out of 10 children. And since you see the number three, that's ruled by Sagittarius in numerology. Sankara could come off chatty, and full of energy when he talks about spirituality and one's morals. The priest noticed his spirit within him, you know, being that he attended church quite often, and his father wanted him to be a priest. But Sankara chose a different route and chose to go to military school, which was kind of popular at the time and thing to do. He saw it as a way to make change against corrupt government. The native Sagittarius are known for being tactless and being in the military, one has to know how to be disciplined and strategic. But joining to make a difference and change is not anything that would be unrare for a Sagittarius, for they could be rebellious, especially against opposition. As a Sagittarius, going this route was positive for Sankara to get the discipline he needs. But however, with him having some of that cuss energy from Capricorn, he will not shy away from such discipline and absorb it more and more, accepting this correctness because the native Capricorn is a sign of discipline. That's to work diligently and carefully in order to climb the ranks and get to the top, just like a goat, indefinitely. You know, though Capricorn starts in December, it's more familiar with the first month. And you notice with this number one, it represents the initiator, the one that knows how to put action. They may have a gentle heart, Capricorns, but being an officer of some sort always attracts them. 
which compliments Sankara and Sagittarius, though they're not, you know, cardinal signs. Fire signs at the end do know how to take action. And this actually goes for all fire signs, they just had this within themselves. And if you look closely at that number one in numerology, it's ruled by Leo. Hence is why sometimes you see that Capricorns and Leos have a unique bond together. And you know, speaking about the first, Sankara entered military school at Cadillago in 1966 and was part of the academy's first intake. And if you notice with that 66, you see the 66, which is a master number. You know, it's actually the same year Mike Tyson was born, who I also did a video about talking about this vibration. But you see that 66, and also that 1966, when it breaks down, it breaks down to a 22. When you add that 22 to 66 on a spiritual subliminal, you know, frequency, you see that 88 vibration that breaks down to a 16, equaling great downfall, which eventually, you know, was part of Thomas Sankara's legacy. Interestingly enough, while being in military school, he witnessed his first coup. That was on January 3rd. You notice the number three strikes again, which is ruled by Sag, which probably sparked Sankara even more to pursue his purpose, along with the 22 vibes coming from the 1966, which shows evolution and vision. During Sankara's time in military school, he met with Adama Torre, who taught about history and geography and possessed progressive ideas. Outside the classroom, he would talk about imperialism, neocolonialism, socialism, communism, along with Soviet and Chinese revolution. Learning such events and topics, high in Sankara's sun sign cuts like energy. And you know, Saj, though they come off timid, it's only when they're not aware or knowledgeable enough. But once they are, their confidence grows, and the cuss energy as a Capricorn sharpens their minds even more. And you know, speaking about the mind, you know this Thomas Sankara, he's born on the 21st of December, and his number dominates the mind, the number 21. People born in this date are very sharp and vast of intelligence, especially when directed in a particular field or topic. To give example of this, President Kwame Nkrumah, the first president of Ghana, he was born on September 21st, which he actually had the same birthday as one of Thomas Sankara's son, the other one, August Sankara, who was also born September 21st. And I realized with the name August, it says it's August in it, you know, which is Leo. So I guess it's kind of fire energy there too. You know, complement everything for everything to go together. And also, you know, of him being an earth sign, Auguste, with that cuss energy Libra, complements Tonkara, with him being a fire sign, with his earth sign energy. So it still goes hand in hand. But you also notice Dr. Umar, he's born the 21st as well. And you see how smart he is. And also Notorious B.I.G. R.P. to him. And R.P. to all of them, actually. But you see, with this 21 frequency and the intelligence, how it really shows. And you know, with this 21 vibration, it tends to draw people born to 16th or have a 16 vibration. And you can see with this with Thomas Sankara's friend, his best friend I told you about as Aquarius, which I'm not, still not gonna name yet. He's born in 1960. And you break down his 1960, it breaks down to that 16 vibration. And even with myself, I'm born to 16th. And I know a couple people born the 21st, and you can notice this with Notorious B.I.G. and Tupac, with Biggie born the 21st and Tupac being born in 16. You know, there's like a magnet for each other when it comes to life purpose. And actually, one of my friends who I grew up with all through high school, college, you know, we did a lot together. He actually born on September 21st, the same day as President Kwame. And he has his MBA, and he always excelled in school. And also another individual who I met, Brother Gal, who was district attorney. And if I'm not mistaken, out of a class of 50, he was one out of two black people, students, who graduated. So you see, people born the 21st are very smart. But not only that, 
They're very ambitious Cause you know this 21 breaks down to a 3 And that 3 is ruled by Sagittarius And this sign is known for their ambition Like I was stating before And actually, maybe this might be too much information But actually my first girlfriend, you know She was born December 21st And she's a physician assistant You know, same birthday as Thomas Sankara actually <laughs> Which is kind of funny So I guess there must be some type of truth to this when it comes to being with people born the 21st in their ambition. And you'll notice, they don't try to live normal lives, you know. It's never mediocre, they gotta go beyond to get their achievement and what they really want in life. So it's all interesting. So it's on car being born the 21st. This compliments his vision and goals and what he set out to do in the long run. The negative aspect with the 21, they know how to play devil's advocate. Which I don't know if that's really a bad thing, but They can see the other side, which others may miss Sometimes psychologically, if they're not aware and careful They can get very emotional And in some ways come off emotionally unstable If they're not careful And this could be due to the two coming before the one Which is backwards Where it shows the feminine energy before the masculine energy it can show a lack of universal order Like Eve leading Adam to the apple But however, when in check The right sacrifices You know this 21 could convert into a positive 3 And serve great purpose